Okay, I'll show you. And, uh, we have another episode of what Joey does in the off season. What Joey's doing in the off season right now is he's wearing his new beanie from Midwest and it's so warm. Got it perfect for snow goose. It starts in a month. So until then, I'm gonna be killing pigeons. Whether it's with marbles and slingshots in the barn or shotguns outside. Stay tuned. So guys, I'm, I'm still trying to figure this thing out. This is annoying. But I feel like I have to really point the camera up in my face here, so. Forgive me on this learning curve. I'm sure none of you want to see my face anyway. But, the name of the game today is to stay frickin' warm. It's like negative 30 out in Minnesota right now. It's a horrible place. Why do I live here? I have permission on, I don't know, probably about a thousand acres. And so, no, it's less than a thousand. But in this area, I'm able to shoot pigeons on all of it. But when it's this cold, they're not gonna wanna leave the barns and or silos, so I gotta really scare them out of there. Or you gotta go in there with slingshots. And in order to help them with their pigeon problem, that is exactly what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna go in there and kill pigeons for them. Because they transfer diseases from cow farm to cow farm, or dairy to dairy, Angus to Angus. Because they eat the poop and then they, you know, cows eat each other's poops, so, you know, poop, poop. I'm gonna turn the camera around here in a second, but it is it is so cold out here today. And two of the farms I've stopped at, the pigeons have been so active, more active than they should be in this cold weather. So, might even be able to decline them today. But it's so cold, I don't know if I really wanna do that, you know? You see them on top of that barn? Yeah, they're asking to die. Thank you, truck. Ooh, nice pheasant. So I'm gonna see if I can't get them to spook off that barn, shoot them with the shotgun, and then when they go into the barn, get them with the slingshot. <laughs> so anyway, Operation Pigeon is taking a little longer than I wanted it to today because every barn I've gotten to, they've just spooked up instantly, like out of the barn, which is very unlike them. But we got some whiteies in this one, and supposedly one in five white pigeons are banded. That'd be, the, that'd be great if I got a pigeon band today, but the last couple times I've been out here, I've glassed them in the barn and I didn't see anything on their legs, so I guess it's just pure pigeon control, you know? But stay tuned. I'm gonna try to get it on film, but it's so hard the way I'm filming this. I'm gonna have Connor hook me up with some sort of like stick where I can hold it. <coughs> this is not GoPro footage. It's a little bit better than GoPro, so yeah, stay tuned. It's gonna be difficult. By the way, you guys, you see this hat I'm wearing? It's freaking warm. Perfect for hunting in the snow or for snow goose hunting. We got them in black as well. They're gonna be on our website. They're 15 bucks a piece. Super warm. The logo looks slick. Sweatshirts, t-shirts. Like this. They're so comfy. And they look good. Why not look good, you know? Go pick yourself up one. That was freaking awesome. I was able to unload my gun twice. <laughs> I think I smoked like seven or eight pigeons. I got super close from behind the silo and they're all sitting up here on this roof. <laughs> That's the most I've ever gotten in a jump shot by myself in a matter of like 10 seconds. Shoot three times, shoot three, reload. Shoot three times, shoot three, reload. Go to start pick up the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> you smoke another two. Oh, so awesome. So now the big thing with, <clears throat> like right now I'm in a cow pen, but they all got moved to a different farm. So the big thing when you're shooting pigeons is they can get really sick, the cows, from eating shotgun shells. Like they do it all the time. It's crazy. So you have to be very careful to pick up all of your shells. And guys, I'm using Federal normal whatever loads. They're freaking awesome. Federal makes such good shells and they're so cheap. Like so cheap. Like why not? And they're dependable. I literally never have duds 
with Federals. They're just always dependable, at least with trap loads. So, and they come in like red, white, and blue now. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm gonna pick up these pigeons real quick and I'll see if any of them are banded. This is what I found on the road here. I've got four. So far, I gotta find the other ones, but I love it when they got these white in their wings, man. Pigeons are really are some beautiful birds. And remember, when you kill a bird, make sure to kill it right away. Don't let them suffer. But I mean, look at those colors, man. The iridescent purple and green, and then the grays and the whites. God, some beautiful birds. So now what I can do is I can use these for decoys. If I do want to use a spinner. Still trying to find two or th three pigeons that sailed over the road <coughs> into this farm right here. I'm having a tough time. And then I just wanted to clarify for all those people who are, you know, for some reason think that they can just go on people's property and start shooting. Uh, that's not what I'm doing here. I've had permission on these farms for three years and they just let me come out whenever I want to kill pigeons because they love the fact that I kill pigeons for them because they're such a nuisance for them. So, just remember that. I don't think I'm gonna find those two or three. I just looked for about 10 minutes. Couldn't find them. It's on to the next farm. This is the true slingshot farm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the barn. They're gonna swoop out the bottom end of the barn and come out and I'm gonna try to get them with my shotgun by scaring them. And I'm hopefully gonna be able to get that on film. It's so hard by yourself. But when they don't come out, I'm gonna go in there with the slingshot and I'm gonna be able to get all that on film because I can set the camera down on a hay bale. So, this is what I came here for. Guys, this is nuts. This is the most pigeons here I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm just smoking them. I walk out and I'm hoping they're in this barn. They were not. They were in the lower part ready to get out of there. It is so cold outside, I'm surprised they're so active. I should be setting up a spinner, but the ground is way too hard to be putting on a spinner. And I should have more people out here with me. What in the world? Currently in the den of the cows. Hello. How about you? Do I scare you? You just want to lick my gloves, huh? Be like that guy on Instagram who feeds deer. Salala. Come here, Canela. Canela. What really blows my mind is how unafraid that these cows are of uh, shotgun firing. Like they don't care at all. They actually come closer to me whenever I fire, which is so strange because I can't tell you how many times I've been not given permission on a property because I'll scare their cattle out of their gates or their fencing and they'll just bust right through it. So, but again, you gotta be re mindful or remember bleh, bleh, that they will eat your shotgun shells and it makes them sick. Look who it is. Loki decided to come and join us, the Black Panther. So just remember that if you do get permission to go and pigeon hunt on a place like this, that you have to pick up your shells. You have to. I'm gonna put this gun down. See if I can't get them to touch me. Hello? Nope. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come here. I'll get down on your level. Just lick it once. Go on, girl, lick that shit. Go on, girl. No? You scared of me? Is it because I don't smell bad enough? I put on deodorant this morning, so maybe that's why she doesn't like me. I need to smell like crap for her to like me, you know? Whatever. Hey! What are you doing in there? Get out of there. Go on. There you go. Sit. Sit. Good. Well, guys. Back to Operation Pigeon. Let me just touch one of you. Don't step in those. They must smell good. Hey, bud. Hey, hey, just let me... They're not gonna let me touch them today. They usually do. I don't know what's going on here. All right, guys. Here's what we're using. Marbles and a wrist rocket. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Because it connects to your wrist. But I got the lightest color marbles that I could find just in case they don't shatter on the side of the barn or up on the roof, that I can reuse them and find them. These were so cheap. Phil Conkey is the one who gave me the idea for marbles to be more accurate because each one is the same size. Thank you, Phil. So guys, as you can see, we only have about four to five in the barn here today, but they are some nice looking pigeons. Would you shut up, huh? Lay down. Shut up. 
Riley loves birds. I mean a freak about them. So that window's closed off, and that window's closed off, and they normally sit in here, and that's the only way they can come out, and that's where I was shooting them out the backside. Now I'm gonna set this down. Don't think I didn't see you up there. I'm gonna set this down and see if I can't catch me destroying them with a slingshot, if I can even hit them. Okay, Let's see what we can do here. Riley, quit your whining. Stop your whining, buddy. Oh, so close. Oh, I hit him in the butt. Oof. Well, I need to put in the truck. So good news, marbles are not breaking. But, still gotta get the hang of the slingshot with marbles. It's way more accurate, like way more. It's incredible. Versus rock. Oh, it was just a little off. I'm so close. Oh, hit him right in the legs. Thing is, I know if I hit him center mass, they're going down hard. These marbles would really hurt. I definitely, I keep hitting them on the ricochet, if anything, which is not good. Should be hitting them dead on. I'll tell you what, these marbles were a genius idea, though. Holy crap. Stop it with your whining. God, it is so cold on the fingers. Now we're getting pretty confident that I can't hit them. I can't get the aiming right. Really pissing me off. I don't want to break that window. Oh! I'm going to go through five bags of marbles before I even hit them. Maybe we should just start trying to hit them in the air, huh? <laughs> I'm going to move this. See if I can't give you guys a better camera view. You know what? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put you guys up here. This is why no one likes pigeons in their barn. Look at that. It's freaking gross, man. Got all the stuff down there too. So after a while, the poop becomes toxic. It's really bad to inhale once it's disturbed. So like older barns have like a lot of pigeon poop in them. They will uh, need hazmat to come out, to take care of it. Which is crazy. So I'm gonna stick you guys up here on this beam while I pop them from this side. I'm gonna warm up my hands a little bit. Zoom in. Calling you out on the upper beam. Ooh. Almost got him as he was flying. See what I mean though? I'm pissing them off, I'm frustrating them, and they're not leaving the barn, even though they know eventually they're probably gonna die if I keep messing with them. So that's why they're gonna die. Guys, I am awful with a slingshot. I'm gonna shoot you if you keep whining, bud. No! Stop it! Ooh, smoked him in the butt. He's going down, but can I put the finishing touch on him? I hit him pretty good. Guys, I'm literally an inch off of each one of my shots. This is insane. Why can't I hit him? Ooh, right in the top of the head. <laughs> but it's a ricochet again. Okay, I'm gonna get you. Bastard. I'm sick of you whining. Stop. Quit your whining. Lay down. So the conclusion of this pigeon pigeon hunt is I hit a couple of birds, but only off of ricochets, which sucks. Because I was maybe within an inch to less to hitting them. And then it'd bounce off a rafter weird and smack them in the top of the head or in the butt. <sighs> so close. But the plus side is I got them scared out of here. Careful, don't fall through there. <laughs> Because I got him to get out of this lower part and I've never seen him after me messing with him in here Them leaving the barn actually so they're hanging out in that area over there So I can go to where those cows are and shoot and they'll come flying right out which would be dope Actually, there's one up here still. I'm gonna get him He's right there. Let me get one on camera Actually, there's two. I'm about to shoot my dog with this marble She's pissing me off about her whining I don't know if you guys can see these shots or not, but holy crap am I close to hitting him. He's right up there in the corner, and I mean I'm quarter inch away, and he's not moving. What am I going to do, cry about it? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. This is really hard. 
and I don't know how to practice. Each shot's at like 30 feet. I'm really good with a shotgun though. Slingshot? Not so much. But what is pretty fun is I was shooting with my jewel in my mouth and the string knocked it out of my mouth. And now it's in this filthy barn and I don't know where it is. <sighs> Great. So these pigeons really want to be back here. I slip on everything, goodness. I mean, they really want to be in here. So I'm just gonna post up for a second. Cause they keep having flocks of like 15 to 50. Keep coming back here. Unreal. Hola. Que tal? Did a little circle. Now I'm back at this barn again. I'm gonna climb over the cattle fence again. There's about seven to eight. It'd be pretty cool if I could get at least three of them. That'd be reckless. Hey guys, by the way, uh, we're doing this thing now where um, I'm gonna have people add me on Snapchat, and that's gonna be right here. It's Joey Dot Vasallo, not Vasilino, as Joe Heinz says. It's Vasallo. So Joey Dot Vasallo, add me on Snap, and you can watch the raw, uncensored version of my life in Midwest Flyways life. All right, guys, I've been going from farm to farm for like three hours now. And I think I've got about 20 down. I've only got like 12 in my truck because I've been landing. I've been winging quite a few today. And I've been not been able to get any on film. Because they all pop up before I can even get there. So then I don't even have time to film it. And I just pull my gun out and I just start killing as I can. That's how pigeons go. So I'm going to try to do this one right. I'm going to set this one up on a sill right there. Because I know there's a, there's been over 100 in this today. And they just keep coming back and back and back. So we're going to crush them. And I'm gonna keep recording all the way out there just so that I can get it on film for goodness sakes. I'm not even gonna put gloves on for this one because it's gonna be quick. And I just gotta reload as fast as I can because once you start shooting into them right away, they just, you know, they don't know what's going on. And this time, a little dog is gonna stay in the truck. So black, I can't even get her on camera 99% of the time. <sighs> okay, here we go, guys. Gotta open up the truck really quietly. Take my keys with me so my dog doesn't lock me out of my own truck when I get back. Being too loud. This is the same place that I was shooting the slingshot at him. Oh shoot, one already flew out. Woo! Woo! Shoot! I wasn't ready on the first two. And then the third was just a little too far away. Dang it. I was expecting a lot more. Three. Maybe they're all just held up in the barn. I'm gonna sneak over. I know there's more in there. Just only three came out. You know they're banned, so. Woo! Woo! Crap. I think they're all gone. There's been pigeons everywhere. That's pretty much it for the pigeon deal. Be sure to subscribe on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram. Thanks for watching today. It's my first time doing one of these vlogs. Tell me if you like them or not. Thanks for watching. Hey, turn out.